if you know anything about me, I hope it is how passionate I am about gardens and this amazing environment we get to enjoy here in Western Australia. This state is completely unique and we have some of the most wonderful flora here that is unique to this part of the world. You will not find it anywhere else. So it's something to celebrate and to enjoy. And there's no better place to do it than right here. Back in 1965, the government of the day set aside 17 hectares of the park to become the State Botanic Garden. And in the 56 years since, it's become recognised as one of the world's greatest botanical gardens. Every year in September, we celebrate its spectacular flora with a festival, and no one knows this place quite like Sue McDougall, its director. Well, we've got 17 hectares of incredible floral displays. And so where the southwest flora grows, mm -hmm. we've got those laid out in an area. So if you can't visit those areas, you can see, and it gives you a journey. So when you walk through Botanic Garden, you have this journey and you can really see the change in the flora. And some of it's quite confronting. So if you've never visited, say, the Kimberley before, yeah. you can see the difference and the changes in the flora in the Kimberley, right down to those really cold, damp areas in the southwest. West. As the WA Botanic Garden, we have a role to play in educating people with our WA flora. We've got just so much to showcase all times of the year. Of course, spring is really the natural highlight, mm -hmm. but all times of the year, and it's true. I mean, some of that flora is inaccessible. Some of it you can't get to. So if we can showcase it here and play a role in its conservation and education to inspire our public and our visitors of what living treasures we do have. We are so lucky to have this beautiful park. Now there's a very special event that occurs and when it kicks off, people are going to be able to see these amazing West Australian plants, aren't they? They certainly are. They're just glowing at the moment and they're all in bud, just ready to go. So throughout September is our Wildflower Festival. Yep. This year the theme is Everlasting. Do you do plant sale in around that we, time as we well? We do. Yeah. So the second weekend of September uh -huh. uh, is the plant sale. So yeah. you get some real special treasures yeah. and they have been grown by the Friends of Kings Park and they're just absolute passionate group. Kangaroo paws, we all know our kangaroo paws. Yeah. We, many of us might know the black kangaroo paws. And so unique yes. until something else came along. Right, <laughs> and then this. I know. Is the beautiful just... blue, tell us about this one. This one that's been officially released this year yeah. and it's just created hype and when you see it growing in the garden this is probably the first time we've had it it does have the wow factor doesn't it absolutely bred by our plant development team and digby's headed up that and mm -hmm. when that appeared i think he was a little bit surprised trevor it's just the most incredible color can you believe it's come originally from a red and green kangaroo pot yeah. so our state floral emblem and it's just uh, just so unique that it's worth having in any garden, I think. That's what this, the whole festival is about, is coming and discovering West Australian flora at its very best, right? It certainly is, and inspiring you to take a little bit of WA flora home. Mm -hmm. So some ideas, our gardens are really stressed by water, you have to be water-wise. Yep. We've got water security, that's an issue. We've got climate change. It's the whole month of September. Certainly. So the festival kicks off from the second two weeks of September. There's a few events and guided walks at the beginning of September. Yep. So everything's planted to look incredibly beautiful then. Well, there you go. The greatest flower show on earth is actually happening right here in Perth. Now, the everlasting Kings Park Wildflower Festival in September is something you do not want to miss. Get to see all this incredible flora from such a huge state all in one place, it's quite unique, so don't miss it.